All right, let's install WordPress to our create OU domain. So when you navigate to create.ou.edu and log in using your 4x4 and password, you'll be brought to this dashboard page here. Now we need to find WordPress. So in this search box, I can start typing in WordPress and it'll come up under the featured applications. So just go ahead and click on it. And you can look at this preview page here, but what we're looking for is install this application. And this will take a second. Once it's finished though, the location of your WordPress install is going to be at your domain, so you should see yours here. I'm gonna leave my directory blank, and you can see what the preview of your WordPress site will be down here. Now, under the settings, for this install, I will advise you to change your administrator username to your 4x4 and 4x4 password so that it's much easier to remember. Once you have changed that, just click on install. Now this process does take a little bit of time, but once you have it installed, you'll be able to start posting to your WordPress site. If the situation occurs where you're stuck at 99%, that's okay. It's just processing all of this data on your web server. Just wait a few more minutes and it should finish. Once the install is complete, you should see a preview of your website and then also the web address where it is located. Now, if you go to this second address here, yourdomain.com or .net slash wp-admin, if you visit that website, you'll be able to log in with that username and password that you specified when you installed WordPress. Once you're in WordPress, you're free to explore all of the different settings, such as appearance and plugins. But what I will say is under the posts, you can go to all of your posts. You can add a new one. I'm going to show you the sample one that is here. As you can see here, this is the title. This is the actual blog post. And if I want to change anything, then I can do that and then just set update or publish. And once I'm done, I'll just hit view post. And there we are. This is my sample website with my WordPress install. And now I am blogging on it.